Hi, this is Scott. Um, I've got a bunch of sites in uh, Windows Azure in the cloud here, uh, a bunch. Most of them are in the West U.S. And I've got this podcast called Hansel Minutes uh, that I do with Carl Franklin. And Carl Franklin keeps his stuff in North Central. So the database for Hansel Minutes is in North Central. And that's under his subscription because Carl handles that database. But I took over the website stuff and moved it over into Azure. So that has been running in West US. And I did that uh, recently when I redesigned the site. So I have been paying for bandwidth as this Hansel Minutes site in West US makes database calls over to the North Central. And I knew that I was doing that, but it's an important thing to remember that if you're making a call within a data center, all that bandwidth is free. But when you make a call between two data centers, in this case where the West US Hansel Minutes is talking to the North Central database, then uh, you're gonna pay for that. So I've been paying a little bit for that. But we recently opened up websites in North Central, so now, I can go and pick West US, North Central, or East US. I think this is in Chicago. So what I'm doing here is I've just took, this is the official Hansel Minutes site, uh, and I made a new one over here in North Central. So this is a new Hansel Minutes site. And I then linked in the resource. So this is my subscription, but I do have access to Carl's. This is Carl's subscription. And I've now linked the SQL database and I've gone in to uh, configure that it knows that uh, this is my Hansel Minutes connection strings and I've also scaled the site up to uh, from free to shared so that I could configure the domains and I go into configure here and hit manage domains and they give me an IP address that I can use to uh, refer to this. If I go over to my DNS here and I've put in the IP address for HanselMinutes.com, the new one that, that Azure just gave me. I put in a verification C name to prove to Azure that I own the domain. And then here's the Azure websites pointing to www. I've got both the A domain and the C name because I want naked domains to work and I want www to work. So I've entered that in. It's been about five minutes. I'll go back over here and I'm going to put in HanselMinutes.com. It's thinking, it's checking the DNS records. It says it's okay. Then I'll type in www.hanselminutes.com. And if it was wrong, if it was a domain that I did not control, I'll show you what would happen. Uh, fancypants.com. See, it says, well, you don't, you don't have fancy pants. You don't control that. So if you want to do control fancy pants, you need to set up a, a C name record. And of course I don't do that because I don't own that domain. Okay, so I'm going to hit OK. Notice how I've got these ones here that failed before. Those failed because I had had the domains configured in both West and North Central. And you can't have one domain pointing to two websites without a load balancer. So these here were my attempts to point Hanselmans.com at two separate websites. I want my downtime to be as uh, small as possible. If I really, really, really cared about this, I would probably use something like CloudFront or I put up a static site or I'd use some of the Azure load balancing stuff. But what I'm doing here is just making the domain change and then switching over and it should be minimal downtime. Not a great production uh, example because I, I don't have a load balancer, but uh, a, a, d a decent enough way for me to get things going. So Hansel Minutes, Hansel Minutes, Hansel Minutes. Now I go to Dashboard, download my published profile, which has been, uh, uh, will be imported into WebMatrix. So here's the, the code for the site. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say remote, and then uh, instead of publish, I'll say settings, and I'll bring in the, uh, I'm going to bring in the new uh, profile. So I'm going to import my published profile. You want to make sure you set up your linked resources so that your published profile includes your connection string. You're going to need that information. If you download your pro published profile and then you link in your resource later, uh, you're not going to have that connection string and the encrypted information inside of your published profile. 
When I hit publish, it's going to make sure that it has access to the database, that the framework, so it looks like I've got all the things that I need. And now it's going to tell me what files are going to be different from what I've got locally versus what I've got up there. And of course, I've got nothing up there. I'm not going to publish the database because it's already up there because it's, it warns you here. Publishing will overwrite any remote databases. I don't want to mess with the database. So now we'll start pushing that up. And again, the reason that I am moving this from west to north central is I want my database and I want my site to be in the same data center. So now we'll go over here and we'll hit the Azure Websites link. I don't have to wait. There we go. Looks like it came up right away. So this works. Now my website and my database are in the same location. Now we need to make sure that the domain resolves. So that's a 404 because that's hitting my West US, which is going to be gone. I'm going to flush DNS and uh, see if we can get that to clear up. It's a little bit tricky with things like Chrome. Chrome has its own uh, DNS caching. So I'll toss Chrome as well. There it is in Firefox. And there it is in IE. And there it is in Chrome. So it took a little bit of time for that to propagate. Uh, a couple minutes there. It depends on your DNS provider and uh, things like that. But not too much downtime. And then hopefully now that will cost me less money. Now I'll go back over into uh, Azure. And I'm going to delete my West site. I can do that a couple of ways. I could do it from the UI here. This is my new one, North Central, you see. And then uh, do, 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 the old one, let's filter. There you go. In West, I can delete it from here just by hitting Delete. Or because I've configured the Azure command line, I could say, uh, Azure site delete Hansel minutes site you gotta be real careful with this kind of stuff now, I've got a certificate here so I'm allowed to do this but it's an important thing to, to point out that, that you can really hurt yourself I know David Fowler recently deleted uh, a production site accidentally okay so now I'll go back over here see if that site's gone and it is so here's all my West US guys and there's my North Central and I've got a, a cheap one over in the East for some reason so good so now this will hopefully uh, make things cheaper for me because I don't have to pay for any bandwidth there and I think I'm probably going to in the future also going to move my images over to the um, Azure CDN the content distribution network to make things cheaper uh, cheaper for me and faster for people who are overseas. Cool. I uh, hope this helps.